Hi everyone, David here from the technical team at DMS. The focus of today's video is the Rabo range of rotary gas meters as manufactured by Elster Metering. Should you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call in the office or leave us a comment in the box below. As ever, please stay subscribed to the DMS channel so you don't miss a single one of our future videos. The Rabo gas meters use rotary displacement in order to measure the amount of gas that has passed through the meter. They are available from sizes DN32 up to DN150, all with a PN16 flanged connection as standard. Uh, as standard, you also get a INS10 pulse transmitter. This provides two low frequency pulsed outputs for date, remote data to be transmitted to a BMS or data logging system. There are also options of a high frequency pulsed output and also a direct MBUS from the Rabo meters as well. The rotary displacement principle involves two spinning impellers internally in the meter and, and as these spin in cohesion they form a seal from one side of the meter to the other. This traps a set amount of gas and that is moved across the meter body as another set is also trapped and that is moved. So the meter itself moves a set volume every time and therefore it can be very accurate with the actual measurement that goes on. Uh, because of this, the meter has a good turndown ratio for measuring, so it has a very good minimum and also maximum flow rate, all within quite a compact style for a gas meter of this nature. The meters are suitable for installation in either horizontal or vertical installation. The index head can be rotated to suit this, and there is also a second index so that you can read gas flows in any direction. Uh, this will be displayed by the clip being shown on the screen now. Uh, as standard with these meters, we can also suggest the use of filters uh, to protect them from any harmful debris. The filters we supply standard are of a top hat commissioning style. Uh, these will go into a system and sit between two flanges uh, and then will then be removed after about four to six weeks of operation uh, as they'll have collected quite a good amount of dirt or debris during that time, after which the system will be pretty much clean. Uh, these are again available from sizes from 50mm up to 150mm for the filters themselves. Uh, the meter is also supplied with a bottle of oil. This is just to lubricate the internal bearings as they work in very close cohesion with each other. So the oil is used for a very long term maintenance period of at least 5 years. Replacement bottles are also available if required. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you do want to give it a like if you found this enjoyable. And of course if you've got any questions please get in touch with us. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.